that is right. Welcome back to another exciting, exciting episode of Saturday Night Live Singing Air right here, right now. So things have been changed on this channel. Hoo ya! That's right. You didn't. You won't notice it yet, but you will see it soon. Um, but anyways, we got some really cool stuff happening on the channel. Uh, the one thing I really wish I could change is the background. Because I really want to make it like a like the city, like the intro, right? I want to do that, but I have nothing really to put a stand or anything behind me. That So this is pretty much the only change that ain't going to happen that you're going to notice in the video. But other than that, it's going to be very interesting, very exciting. And I, I just can't wait to show you guys what it's going to look like for the rest of the stuff. Because it, it looks, it's, it's literally uh, phenomenally amazing uh, what's going to be part of this. Uh, for now, Saturday night, so it's going to be really awesome, and uh, I can't wait to, to show you guys what's going to happen. Um, but anyways, literally some really cool stuff is going to happen on the channel, so how about we go straight to, of course, something new that's going to be happening in just a second, which is Gaming News, or Gaming Station, I guess we would call it. So let's go to the Gaming Station, and let's see what's going on over there. Welcome back everybody. Anyways, right off the bat, we're going to talk about the PlayStation VR. It literally has some really cool games. They showed tons of games over through the weeks before the VR came out. And I've talked about it before. But literally guys, I think this is really awesome. And one of the games that came out recently was a 100 foot golfer. Like golf game. And it looks so amazing. Phenomenally awesome. And I just can't wait to even try out all these games. Like the Arkham VR... Uh, literally, there's like so many, so many things out there. There's uh, the Drive Club VR, there's a lot. And it looks so cool, so that's why like I think it's just amazing that since it's coming out, since it's out, you know, we can play it, but the only thing is it has a price, so uh, if you guys have it, literally, you guys can let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below, because I really would love to know what you guys think, and in general, I would love to play it. <laughs> I would love to play the VR, but right now, I can't, but... That's pretty much it for now for the PlayStation VR. Uh, but anyway, Xenoverse 2 had a trailer ver showing black. Yes, Goku Black. And I think it's cool to even see the trailer in general having Goku Black, you know, around the area shooting Kamehameha's all over and killing people because that's pretty much what Black does. He wants to pretty much destroy the humanity, so why not use Kamehameha's all over, right? That's the whole point, so... Uh, but anyways, the games for the week. Yes, that's right. So I've been really talking a lot about games and what comes out for the week. But anyways, what games came out this week was Gears of War 4, literally Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and WWE 2K17. So you guys can literally play these games if you guys want. Go out there, buy it in the store, buy it online, the Steam, whatever. You guys name it. You guys do what you gotta do. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the gaming news, and, uh, let's get head back, of course, to Action Saiyan Gamer. Alright, guys, so that is literally the game station, literally the most amazing thing. I think it's so cool, um, for that is literally that little part, so, um, but anyways, if you guys are enjoying, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I like the little intro part to the gaming station, uh, for that, so, it, it's really something I was trying to think of, I was like, well, what could be something really interesting to put in there, so, I got that idea, so, hopefully you guys are enjoying that, because if you guys do like it, I'm definitely gonna, you know, put that, you know, leave that in for the rest of the, like, the, all the Saturday Night videos, so leave a like, or comment down below to let me know what's going on, uh, but anyways, just like Gaming Station, or Gaming News, or whatever, uh, pretty much we did mention about Xenoverse 2, now, there was an update that I did say I was going to talk about for you guys. That's right. So, I'll, let's get ready. Let's get let's get this thing started, all right? So, pretty much right off the bat, I did say that we were going to be doing something really interesting for the weekend. So, not this weekend. Next weekend. Because next weekend is pretty much close to uh, Xenoverse 2. And I do apologize that I didn't do any videos yet for Xenoverse 2 beta. Because, one, I did download it. And, two, it was down. It was down. The game was down when I downloaded the game and I wanted to record tons of episodes that night. Because I'm like, I have lots of time on my hands right now. I could probably do about five episodes right now and I'm going to throw these up like, right off the bat. Because I was so hyped. I was so hyped when the game came out and downloaded for me. I'm like, my god. Like, my expression when I found out I can download this game was like, I can do it now. 
I can play it now. You have no idea how much I want to play this game. And then I, I download it, and then the next minute, it doesn't work. And I got pissed off because I was like, I want to play it. Why? Why does the beta not want to work for me? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try again. Uh, what I thought, I'm re-downloading the game again. Because maybe, I don't know what the freak happened. Like, I, like I see our people making videos for this. And they're already playing the game. And then, like, when it comes to me, it's like, maintenance checkup. Nope, sorry, it's down. I can't do anything about it. So, I just got fed up a bit. And I'm just like, okay, look. I want to play Xenoverse 2. So, can I, can, can I just play it? That's all. Like, that's all I'm asking. But if we can't do a thing about it, we're just going to have to party without it for the moment. That's all we're going to do. So, um, and plus, I don't know when the open beta ends. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to check up on that and make sure I can see... If I can get any videos for you guys soon or not. So, um, but anyways, so we're gonna have some really cool stuff. So pretty much Saturday is gonna be a live stream. So go to twitch.com slash action saying gamer. Uh, I'll put a link up right here. You guys can literally go uh, to this little section uh, for website. Literally go to the website uh, and follow me there. You don't have to subscribe. I'm not. Uh, there's no freaking subscription button where you gotta pay like two bucks or whatever the freaking thing is, is nowadays for Twitch people. But anyway, just go follow me there so that way you get notified and then when I do live stream, uh, just in case what's gonna happen, so then that way you can do it. So, I was thinking for a really good time for Saturday, I'm gonna say probably about uh, 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock is probably like the best time uh, to live stream uh, on a Saturday. So we're gonna say 2 o'clock and then I think I'm going to probably live stream for about two, two, three hours. Depending on how, uh, the third hour. We'll see. So, so far just two hours. So, two to four. And then maybe we'll extend it for maybe an extra hour. Um, depending if there's nothing happening that day. So, but yeah, anyway, so we're going to do it for about two to two, three hours uh, for live streaming. And it's going to be on Twitch because, like I said, YouTube don't make freaking day work on Xenoverse for PS4, which I thought was just too. I can play our games besides Xenoverse. Like, what's wrong with the Xenoverse game that I can't play on the PS4 and live stream it to YouTube? Like, there, there's got to be a reason here. Come on, tell me what's the reason. Like, God. But I can't do a thing about it, so that's all I'm just going to say. Uh, but anyways, one thing I do want to talk about is Luke Cage. Luke Cage is literally amazing. The show, the season... Season 1 was phenomenally amazing. I really like the ending to the series. Now, I'm not going to spoil it just in case if anybody is still watching the show. But literally, I find it was fantastic. The flow of the show was pretty good. Uh, there was a lot of surprises in the show. I like. I was really shocked about how some main character... Like, the main guy that I thought was supposed to... Like, something I didn't realize was supposed to happen to him in the, in the show like for certain things. And I'm just like, oh my god, like, this shouldn't be happening, because, like, he should be, like, doing something like this by the end of, of the, 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 um, yeah, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> but anyways, by the end of the season, like, I thought that's what's gonna happen, is, like, something like that going down in the season. But no, like, um, it, it turned out very well either way, and I am just so glad uh, to literally be able to watch Luke Cage, like, in general, because it's a great series, it's really awesome, and I think it's phenomenally amazing. Like, I'm, I don't really know how else to tell you, it's just really good. So, um, but yeah, if you guys do have Netflix, check out Luke Cage, because it's, it's good. Just check it out, it's a great Marvel TV show, so. Uh, but one thing I do want to mention, one thing as well, is this happened, uh, I don't know if this happened this week, but it, I, it was like probably two weeks ago, or some of like that, or a month ago. But this is something I really want to talk about, which is Goldberg. Okay, so I was talking to my buddy, my buddy about this, because Goldberg is literally my favorite character in wrestling. And I heard that he could be coming back. Now, uh, I don't know if it's true or not, but, uh, you know, I would love to see Goldberg, like, you know, stay in wrestling, you know, for good, because he's a great wrestler, especially back in the day, like in the 90s, when I grew up with him. Like, I, I loved Goldberg as a wrestler because he was just this amazing, like, guy that, like, literally would kill, like, destroy everybody. <laughs> and, like, that's why I liked him as, like, 
the guy of a wrestler, like, is a freaking buff guy that just can demolish anybody, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's why, like, I thought he was a astonishing wrestler, and that's why, like, I, I am, like, a fan of this man. So that's why, like, I think it's just so awesome. So if he does come back, I'm definitely, definitely going to be watching a lot more wrestling, um, than ever, because, like, Goldberg is definitely one of the guys I definitely will watch once again. I know Hulk Hogan's there. But, like, I kind of, like, I don't know. I, like, I, I even hear that like, he doesn't do much wrestling either. So, like, it, it's not, it's not what it was back in the day. But Goldberg still has the same thing as he did years ago. And that's what I like about that. He still has that inner him from years ago. And he still would bring the show no matter what like that. Unless they really change it to where he can't do that. And if they do, then I'm definitely not watching wrestling again. Because... They're, they're gonna destroy him. If they destroy him, then I'm not gonna watch it. Because I'd rather watch him as the original Goldberg than some made up thing that they say that they have to do for that. So that that that's one thing I don't really like is like I'd rather have, you know, characters that come back, do their own thing. You know what I mean? Like let them do their own show. They've been doing this for years. They know what's going on. Uh but anyways, so that's pretty much it. And one more thing I do want to mention right off the bat before uh, we move over to the movies, uh, which is literally, uh, uh, what is it called? Five Nights at Freddy's Sisters, Sisterhood or something like that? Probably got that name wrong. But anyway, so I realized that I have some uh, extra money on my account, and I didn't realize I had money on my I thought I wasted it all, but apparently I still have some money. So, anyways, so I still have some money on my Steam account where I can buy one more game. And, uh, I was thinking maybe Five Nights at Freddy's, the new game that came out. So, I thought if you guys want me to do that, that's up to you guys. Let me know in the comments below, uh, for that. And also, too, don't forget to comment down your questions, your fan mail questions, because I will be answering them, uh, literally Sunday. Sunday is going to be fan mail questions. Just as a heads up. And then next week will be, uh, weird podcast once again. But yeah, literally, though... Uh, you send me your family questions, and also let me know if you guys want to see Five Nights at Freddy's, because I'll definitely play that with Xenoverse 2. Like, literally, I will stop Katamari for both of those games <laughs> to play for you guys, if you guys want that. I'm just saying, I, I definitely will do that for you guys. No doubt about it. So. But anyways, let's go to the movie releases! Alrighty, so, anyways, right off the bat, we got Max Steel, which is, like, a very interesting thing. Uh, of course, it is based on a comic. Uh, very, uh, I have not read Max Steel. I've heard of the show, even, like, the show that was, I think it's on Teletoons or whatever. But anyways, I, I, like, Cartoon Network, I should say. I did watch, uh, like, I heard about it, I should say, I didn't watch it. But, like, it's definitely an interesting thing. But, like, I didn't really know too much about Max Steel, but watching the trailer for the movie is very amazing, and I definitely will want to watch this movie. Like, it's definitely one of the greatest movies that came out for the, just this weekend in general. Like, out of these three movies that I'm about to tell you, Max Steel is going to win this for me to go see a movie for the weekend, so... But, uh, anyways, the next movie is Accountant. Now, Accountant is literally pretty much the guy that plays as Batman. He's going to be the Accountant, and, uh, he's, like, he's not an Accountant in general. He's, like, a, he's like a secret, like, person that definitely, uh, works, like, you know, under the table and knows his stuff and tries to get out of the, like, the Secret Service and all that. You know, chases, tries to stay out of their, uh, service. It's very, it's very interesting movie if you guys like stuff like that. Um, kind of like the Born, the Born movies, something like that, sort of like that, but not, not like that. It's just this, he's more of like a smart guy that knows what he's doing, so. But anyways, if you guys don't like any of those movies, which I doubt you probably will, why would you hate Max Steel? Like, that's like the greatest movie ever, good. so far, like, this weekend, like, <laughs> out of these categories, why would you? Uh, but, anyways, if you guys don't like it in general, this is pretty much the next thing, which is Kevin Hart. Uh, what now? So, pretty much, if you guys want to see a movie about, uh, Kevin Hart pretty much going to do a stand-up comedy, uh, at a football field, literally, go, go watch it. I heard it's pretty funny, but I, my type of movies is not going to a comedy movie. i rather just watch the movie on TV or something, like, with all the art comedy shows that's on TV. Like, I can just watch all those 
stand-up comedy shows and just watch it for free, then go pay a movie to do the same thing. So, just saying, uh, I probably would, but, you know, I, I like Max Steel a little bit better here. You're, I'm paying for a movie that actually is a movie, not a stand-up movie, just saying. But anyways, that's pretty much it for your Saturday Night videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Literally, this is amazing, uh, phenomenally amazing. So if you guys like anything that's new on the channel, or I should say for the Saturday night, let me know guys below. I really want to know your thoughts, your opinions, and everything about it. And anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys, of course, in the next videos. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day, and don't forget to send me your fan mail questions, of course. All right, so anyways, guys, take care.